The key feature of a package manager like Homebrew is that when you install a package, it automatically installs all of the other packages that that package needs to run. So, when you uninstall a package, then what happens? Well, Homebrew does not automatically uninstall dependencies of packages. Let's try it out with an example. So, first let's run brew install wget, which is a common program used to download files using the terminal. If we run brew list, we can see that actually six packages were installed, including wget, and the other five were dependencies of wget. If we want to see all the dependencies of wget, we can just run brew deps wget. So now let's run brew uninstall wget and see what happens. Well, only wget was uninstalled, leaving the other five packages untouched. We need a command that can automatically remove all of the packages that we didn't install ourselves and that we're not using. This is what brew auto remove does. So let's run brew auto remove. Now, one last thing. Installing all these packages caused Brew to download files from the internet. It doesn't delete them in case you might want to use them again, but if you just want to save space, it's a good idea to use the Brew Cleanup command with the S option. This removes all the cached and downloaded files that you don't actually need.